welcome back. So we have our taste of the week in the house. It's called the heavyweight. Oh no, heavy, heavy wind. wind. And I'm, I'm looking that at him and such a <laughs> I'm looking at him and um, trying to see the wind around him. How heavy it can be. Does he need the heavy wind to move him along since he's supposed to or what? So we have a multi-instrumentalist, arranger, songwriter, Olaito Adeniji. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so Why I was looking wind? at you. Let me, just, let me just throw that yeah. one in before we forget. Why heavy wind? Because well, you're, you're of slight build. Tall, well, yes, but, um, you know. It has to do with my instrument, actually. I play the tenor saxophone. So wow. it's a wind instrument, mm -hmm. and um, you know when I started playing, and a few friends, you know, felt it sounded pretty heavy at the time. So that's how you you've know, got talked with heavy yes. wind. Okay. okay, so you've been doing your thing outside the country. Um, you've been back for how long now? About four years now. Okay, so yes. you've taken more of organic food here because I can see you in the in that video. You know, I was wondering, is that you? A bit plump. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, that was uh, processed food now. Okay. <laughs> now you're eating the real mama put and the rest of it, so. Sir. Real vegetables Absolutely. and real tomatoes, Absolutely. not genetically. The difference is clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the difference okay. is clear. Okay, so let's talk about your music. What kind of music do you write? I come from a jazz background. However, I listen to every type of sounds growing up, thanks to my parents. But I have a jazz background and I'm, I'm highly influenced by Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. So um, you hear a lot of folk songs, you hear a lot of Afrobeat, a lot of jazz um, in my music. Okay. You said you come from a jazz background. Let me take you back to that background. Tell us about that background. The background will be me listening to a lot of vinyls growing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Charlie Parker, Coltrane, Miles Davis, Fitzgerald, and the list goes on. So, um, of course, me watching some of these guys, I actually wanted to play like, you know, that instrument like that. So I'd always had interest uh, way back. So yes, listening to them, you know, back to back, you know, I got a lot of interest in that. Of course, fella, throughout the 70s and 80s. Obviously. I mean. mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a fella <laughs> influence right there yeah, yeah. in that video yeah, of yours. Yeah. So, that's so how for you, Afrobeat is more like it. Yes, because it's very African. As a matter of fact, it's Nigerian. So I'm proud to be associated with a, a, a sound, a particular sound that's actually built from here, from scratch. So that to me, I feel can be uh, uh, more developed. And it's something that, you know, it, it will take a lot of musicianship to, to actually understand Afrobeat, the way Phil played it. You played percussion since you were six years old. How so? Did your father play any instrument, your mother? Um, no, my grandfather, he played the guitar. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if he played the violin, but I think he had he had a violin at one time. Okay. Yeah, so he played. So I mean, I I lived with him at the time. My parents moved to ah, Lagos. I'm a grandpa. So exactly, I'm <laughs> you know, <more> Arubo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up the guitar from him a little bit, and then of course I would run sneak out to watch different bands in the bar at the time, you know. So and I get back home. At my, that place in in, in Mokola. Yes. Tunju Yulano's place. Oh, yes. I never got the chance to go there, but ah. I heard a lot about the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And a few other places, you know, uh, Bamboo in uh, Bodija, mm -hmm. um, Glass House. Mm -hmm. uh, the, glass house. Uh, the Glass House, yes, in Dubai. So a few other places there. Mm -hmm. You will go. Yeah. So you have a message in your music? Yes, I do. I have messages. It depends on how it comes to me. Sometimes I could be concerned about what's really going on in the society. It could be folk songs that you and I grew up listening to. Yeah, yata, konwale, o, do John, John, K, John, you know, stuff like that. Bring them back into, the, into my music. You know, sometimes I could just feel like doing uh, some house beat. So it depends because I produce a lot, you know, um, of, of songs. I have over 60 songs already, 60 about songs. eight albums. So it's been a while. I've been on stage for about 25 years, thereabout. But your first album was Ibado. Yes. Tell us about Ibado. Ibado, where I come from, ah. I was just paying homage to Ibado because Ibado, for me, happens to be uh, <coughs> uh, number one city. Mm -hmm. uh, historically, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. The first university, the first TV station, 
first tallest building. Can I go on? A lot of first. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, so it's just like a homage to, to where I come from. Mm. And also I'm like a, a, a dedication to my, my father, my grandfather. You know, we we hear that in Badon, I mean, it was the, one of the most played uh, pieces of music on, on the league. Absolutely. How, how, how did you achieve that? Well, I worked with uh, Jazz Hole Records. Mm -hmm. So um, at the time, they, it was a hit, because they sold out the album um, in the minute uh, the album came out. So that caught the interest of um, you know, some other international uh, uh, news uh, companies. So they came in to interview me and took the CDs with them. So that's how you know, that uh, came about. It must have been really good. I, I, I would say so. Even if you say so yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 25 years on stage, you said, 60 songs we've written, eight albums. How has the journey been? The journey is all about your passion. So that's my conclusion. Um, jazz music uh, at this present time for any average Nigerian cannot make money for you. You must have passion playing it. So that's what it's all about. Um, and I will keep playing, I will stay consistent. Um, entertainment seems to be optional. So jazz is not exactly your popular music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just have to find your niche, really. So that's it, you know. Oh. Um, you played some music when you were at school. In school? Yes, I did. I actually played with a few bands outside of school. Which, in, in, where, in Ibado? In Ibado and Lagos. What bands are these? Ah, oh, man, I'm talking about side bands. I mean, just give me one congas there, let me be playing along. Another <laughs> band in somewhere in one small corner. I was just jamming on because I, need, I wanted to learn a lot of instruments. Eventually, I So could, how, many, I mean, how many instruments do you play? I play about, I can, I can think of about 15, easily, you know. Excuse me? Yes, I play all, all, most instruments, not all, most of the basic instruments. When I say basic, basic would be drums, congas, keyboards, guitar, bass, uh, saxophone, a bit of trumpet, a bit of trombone, um, all percussions, talking drum. I can't remember, um, um, what's it called? Harmonica, mm -hmm. you know, so, and mm -hmm. a few others I can't remember right now. Hmm. Only one man. Well, well I'm, I'm looking at you with a lot of respect. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Only one man. Okay, mm. we'll, we'll take a break. When we come back, um, you said jazz may not, you know, give you that money that you want. Um, how else do you keep body and soul together when we come back from the break?